Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Raven and I'm gonna be your Pilates aficionado today. I'm super excited for this workout because all you need is 15 minutes. This is your 15 minute Pilates workout for beginners. <laughs> All you're gonna need today is your mat and some water. Set your timer, get your scrunchie, get your headband, and we're gonna get this party started because we only have 15 minutes to work out. So here we go. starting down on the mat today. Your feet are planted, your arms come out to a T. Now I want you to start with a little twist stretch. Let your knees fall over to one direction as your upper body stays nice and still. You'll kind of look like windshield wipers right here. Big stretch in your hips, your glutes, your lower back. Today's workout is all about mastering some of the Pilates basics in 15 minutes. So whether you're a beginner or not, this is a great refresher video. Oh my gosh, I really feel a big stretch here. <sighs> One more time. Over, big stretch. Now bring it up to the top. Find a neutral pelvis, your hips don't move. We march one leg and lower. Now the challenge is gonna be finding your breath, letting your rib cage stay still, and keeping your back still. It's just a needle, little knee lift. I said a little knee lift. <laughs> I can't talk y'all. Four, three, two. No time for breaks. Both legs up, we hold it. My knees are right over my hips. My feet are in line with my knees. Hold right there. Draw your belly button in. This should be challenging on your abdominals. Now, just like we started, can you lift your right hip? Take your legs almost all the way over to the left. Ooh, big old stretch. Pull them back up to neutral other side. Lift your right hip. Take a big stretch. Oh, that feels delicious. And I also feel my abdominals working. Keep it going. Try not to let your shoulders pop off the mat. We don't want that. You could pop off, but don't pop your shoulders off. Big stretch. I even feel this one in my rib cage too. Two more here. Really connect to your abdominals. Last one. Belly should be getting warm. Now hold your legs in the middle. As if we're drawing circles with our knees, we take them both to the right. Draw a circle. Bring it back up, repeat. Legs go right, they circle around. So it's almost, I like to think, I guess my glutes are typically sore, but almost like you're massaging your butt <laughs> against the mat. I know that's weird. <laughs> Push your shoulders down one more this direction. Remember, upper body doesn't move. You should really feel your belly working. Reverse. And circle. Now I rock to my right butt cheek and I pull it up. Really feel your abs working. Woo! <laughs> Squeeze your inner thighs together. Three. We're getting our pelvis moving. This is gonna be a theme for today's workout. Four, one more. Oh boy. Bring it up, five, pull your knees in. Give them a big old stretch. Woo, your abs should be warm, I want you to use them. On this next exercise, my arms come down, my feet are pointing straight ahead. I just pick my hips straight up and straight down. Do it again. So these are bridges. One of the fundamental exercises of Pilates. Honestly, well, my favorite exercise. Because <laughs> you're getting lots of glute hamstring work and lots of core work with active arms. One more. Hold it at the top. Remember, you're coarsening your belly. You're making sure these hip bones are straight up. Your booty goes down an inch, up an inch, one. Make them small. 
Try not to let your butt touch the floor. We're just going half range. Four. Keep your abs drawn in. Every time, maybe you get a little higher from your butt, not your back. Almost there. Push your arms down. Two more. Nine. Last one, hold it on 10, hold it 10. Nine, eight, keep drawing the abs in and up. Six, four, lots of booty work. Three, two, one. Now I want you to imagine your pelvis is a bowl. Can you spill some water to the right? Push it back up, same side. Spill some water to the right. Woo. So you should be getting a similar stretch that you got before and our ab exercises. But now you're feeling in your butt too, on both sides, hopefully. One more here. Other side, spill water to the left while keeping the right side there. We're moving your pelvis. Move your hips, Shakira, Kira. <laughs> what am I talking about? Three. Four. One more. Five, now let's alternate, you got it. We go right, left, big a twist, it should feel good. Three, keep the hips up, four, five. One side is moving, one is not. Ooh, don't let the shoulders go. Seven, how are you breathing? Nine, and 10, hold it at the top. 10, nine, eight, you can do it, six. Three, two, one, roll your spine down. Pull your legs in one more time. I really felt that one. Okay, rock yourself up and come to a nice cozy seated position. Arms come out, take your right hand down. Give me a big stretch over with the left arm. This is your mermaid. Try not to let your legs lift with you. Bring it up other side. Big reach. Whew. One more each side, push off. Big opening stretch for three, two, push those legs down. Other side, up and over for three, two. Ooh. All right, now I want you to come onto your right elbow for me. This is so fun, right? <laughs> So we're on your right elbow. My legs are bent right in front of my body. I lift my top leg lower. If this is bothersome at all to your elbow or your shoulder, lie all the way down and give your head a little support. I'm just lifting and lowering. Start to feel your outer hip work. Lift your whole leg up for four, three, two, Hold your leg up, we stretch in. Do not let your leg lower down. Maybe flex your foot and push away. So now we're getting lots of glute here and lengthening in the front of your hip. Three, stretch it, four, right in line with your body. Push someone away, five, keep it going. Woo. Seven, keep your chest up, upper body still. We love it, nine. Hold it out there on 10. You should be feeling your butt from your bridges. Lower and lift your leg. Ooh, I'm feeling it. You're gonna feel your hip. You should feel your abs. Three. Oh my gosh. My hip is already on fire. <laughs> I don't care how high it goes. It really shouldn't go much higher than your hip. Keep going, because your foot and your kneecap should be pointing towards me. Shouldn't be going up to the ceiling. Eight. Nine. 10, 10 more, smile, 10, nine. You should be feeling right where my hand is. Seven, woo, my booty. Six, five, keep it moving. Four, three, oh boy, I feel it good. Two, hold it, one, little pulses. 10, nine, eight, higher, 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 higher. Four, three, two, one, relax. Switch legs. Now I've got my left leg on top. I'm gonna lie all the way down. Lower and lift your bottom leg. You might feel a little stretch on this top hip. It's good. I want you to feel this bottom inner thigh. Feel it. 
Make sure it's in line with your body. And zip your abs. You should be eating a little like pelvic floor and abdominals here. How you're breathing. Really drawing from this waist. Ooh, you got it, give me 10 more. Nine, eight, we're almost there. <laughs> Six, it's getting deep in your core. Two, hold it up, tiny little pulses, y'all. Up, 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 draw your belly in, lift. Make sure your body's in one line like you're a pencil. Four, three, inner thighs are working, two, one, hold it up, top hand down, both legs are out and lifted, hold. See how my legs are in line with my body from my waist and abs, lift them. Hold it. Can you lift them a little higher? You're gonna feel your abs work. Can you lift them a little higher? Hold. Now tap your legs together. Use your stomach, use your inner thighs. You're gonna feel your whole body work right here. 10, eight, keep lifting them higher. Six, five, I feel my inner thighs work. Three, lift them higher. Two, hold it. Woo, lower that down. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was a lot. Here we go, switch around other side. Well, that was not easy. Now I'm on my left elbow. Here we go. Up, down. I hope you didn't just hear my hip pop. I feel like that happens every video. <laughs> Start to connect with your breath. I know I haven't been cueing it too much because we're rocking and rolling. Four, imagine you're pressed up against the wall behind you. Two, hold it one, flex your foot, push. Push someone away. Push someone away. Three. Keep the leg up. You can always lie down, remember? Five. Halfway. Six. Reach it. <laughs> Eight. Two more. Chest high. I'm losing it. Now lower lift, tap the ground, feel a big stretch in the side. Keep going, feel the length here. How can you keep that? Five, ooh, I feel it, six. It's not gonna go super high. <sighs> keep these abs in and up. Nine, ooh baby, 10, 10 more. It's burning, eight, seven. Oh my gosh, y'all, six. Woo, keep it up, four, three, woo, two. Hold it, one, 10 little pulses, 10. Draw these in, eight, seven. Keep these hips sturdy, four, lift it higher, three, lift it higher, two, lift it higher, one. Bring it in, switch legs. Right leg is on top, left leg is stretched long. Inner thigh now. Now see, check it out, keep going. I'm not letting this all hang out right here. That's not what this exercise is about, pull it in. <sighs> Same rules apply as if we're pushed up against a wall behind us. My hips are still stacked. My abs are still tight. Tight AF. We got eight, nine, 10, 10 more. You should be feeling high up on the center thigh. Eight, seven, keep going, squeeze it. Five, ooh, keep stretching. Three, two, hold it up on one little pulses. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, how you're breathing. And three and two, hold it one, hold it. Lift it higher, keep it there. It's not gonna go no lower. This is the hard part, I know. Extend both legs. You feel your hip lengthening. You feel your inner thighs working. You feel your stomach. Lift a little higher. Woo, you're gonna feel those sides. Hold it. Lift it a little higher. Hold it. Stretch the legs. Here we go. Beat. Beat. It's tiny. It's tiny, I know. It's tiny, I know. Keep it going. Keep it going. Lift it higher. Keep it going. Five. Three. You can do it. Don't let them drop. Two. Hold it. One. Ah. Oh. Lower down, take a breather. Okay, come on up. That was pretty intense. 
We are gonna finish on all fours for quadruped. Woo! Hands right underneath your shoulders, knees under your hips. Round your back, let your head hang. And then let your hips go back, lift your chest up. Keep these going. Chest open, keep it up. Scoop the belly in, push the shoulder blades apart. And back, two more. Ooh. Two. Should feel really good articulation on your spine. Last one. Hips back. Okay, find a nice neutral position. We've got some bird dog work. Here we go, extend your right arm. Out, put it down, same arm. Feels easy at first, right? Your arm should definitely be warm. But the hard part is not moving anything else on your body. For two, and one. Now open it up to the ceiling, twist, open and down, only your waist moves, not your hips. Keep weight on your right leg. You should be feeling your abs working a lot here. Two, woo, and one. Now here's the fun part, we add the opposite left leg. Left leg goes out, it goes down, now it does the same thing. Open and close, it's not easy. Out, down, Ooh, my obliques, open. It's gonna be smaller, and out, and down. Keep your abs in and up, open. Ooh boy, two more, two. Are you breathing? You gotta keep weight on that right side, one more. You have to now, cause that left leg's moving. Ooh, abs are in and up, open. Okay, left arm go out. Oh, who feels different. Keep it moving for three. Push down on the right arm. I know you want to sink. Okay, now open it up to the left ceiling. Open. No shifting to that right leg because it's going to go away soon. Twist. Should be lots of core. And it's really good mobility for your spine. One more. Clearly, I need it. Now slow it down. Here we go. Right leg. Hold. And down, same thing, open, open. And see how much smaller it is, go. Out, and down. See how I'm breathing? Ooh, stomach is on fire. Three, four, oh boy. Right arm is working hard. Keep abs in, one more. Last one, lower down, sit your hips back for a moment. Big stretch, oh boy. Okay, last thing, come back to quadruped. Extend your left leg out towards me. Stick your booty out, see how my left foot's pointing straight ahead. Come on up right here. Send your hips back till you feel a juicy inner thigh stretch. Come on up. Send your booty back till you feel your right butt cheek work. Lift. If it's too much pressure on your knees, you can always fold your mat up to give you a little more cushion. Really stick your butt back first, y'all. No, it feels weird. Stick your booty back. Keep your core tight. Almost there. Seven. Almost there. Eight. Big inner thigh booty work. Nine. Last one. Ten. Bring it up. Hands go down under your shoulders. Right arm reaches in opposition. Big thread and needle. Thread to stretch. Look up to the ceiling. Hold it. Three, two, and one. And we switch legs. Easy breezy. I'm going to face the other way because I got a wall right there. Here we go. My right foot is pointing straight ahead. I come on up. My hips go back. Woo. I'm feeling a big stretch in my pelvis. 
Sphinx, stick your booty out, and then curl in under. Use those glutes. Four, grow tall at the top, it's for posture. Five, keep your abs in and up. I love this exercise. Six, if you got tight inner thighs like I do, it's so good. Seven, eight, almost there. Nine, last one. 10, walk your hands forward to your in your quadruped again. Make sure shoulders over wrists, lift your left arm. Big old stretch. And then thread a needle. Feel the stretch between your shoulder blades. My upper back has been super tight recently. Hold it for three. It's like you're listening to the ground. Your Pocahontas colors of the wind. What are you telling me, Mother Earth? <laughs> Okay, bring it up, feet together, knees wide, send your hips back because you guys are finished with your 15 minute Pilates beginner workout. Hopefully you feel like you've mastered the basics a little bit more today. Your body should feel a little juicier, a little ready to move. This would be a great warm up at the gym or a great cool down after you do a run or some cardio or after you work at your computer all day. But let me know how you like it. Don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. <laughs> okay, I will see you guys later on the mat, bye.